What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here at Marty Music. Thanks for uh, coming over to my project, Marty Music, and hanging out right here. Got a new uh, new version of an old classic, the Land of A7. Going to break it down for you. This can be substituted. Anytime you have an A7 chord, you can do any of these moves instead or in substitution or with someone else playing an A7 chord. It's really cool stuff, and uh, just wanted to make an updated version of it. Uh, also, thanks for uh, supporting Marty Music, MartyMusic.com as well. So, just to remind you, this can be substituted or put in place. Any one of these shapes can be put in place of an A7 chord. So, it's really great when you're playing a blues. Let's pretend blues and E. You know, that's the one chord. The four chord is an A7, which a lot of times would be like that kind of thing. Anytime you're doing that, or just, you can do any one of these shapes that I'm about to teach you in any combination. And you know, it sounds fancier than it is difficult, and that's one of my favorite things to teach. So we're gonna start with the A7 chord. You can play all the strings. We kinda wanna avoid the low E, but all the rest of the strings. And so that would be um, middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the B. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna target that middle finger and move it up to the fourth fret. So middle finger on the fourth fret of the D, and then index goes to the third of the B. Okay, next, middle finger now goes to the fifth fret of the D string, and ring finger, so it's just gonna be like just this A7, but now it's up here, so it's um, five of the D, five of the B. You wanna practice them going up and down, and just get them under your fingers, just start to kind of memorize it, really. Uh, it really it's a really cool trick. Four, three, five, five, and then now the fun part is we move that up a whole step. Seven, seven. So seven, they're all on the, the fingers are all on the D and B. So seven. Now, D string would be the ninth fret, and then the eighth fret on the B. So, uh, let's see, where were we? We were here. Now we go 11D, 10B. So these are just the same a whole step apart, and these are the same a whole step apart. One of a kind each here, but two of these, two of these. And then finally, two of these again. So that'd be 12 on the D, 12 on the B. And then move it up a whole step and you're back at the A7, an octave up. And you can move them around in any kind of combination. So, for instance, if I was playing an E blues and I had that E7 chord going. And then we go to the A.
any combination. All right, I hope the lesson helped. Uh, appreciate you supporting Marty Music, and can't wait to see you again real soon. Peace.